What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the CFL podcast. And you know what? I want I want to get my thoughts on a few SWAC teams, right? Because the SWAC overall is really fun to watch this year. I might not make videos on other teams, but I've definitely been watching, right? So, you know, first, let me just get Bethune out the way. Hey, Bethune, y'all, y'all frustrate me. I'm not even a fan. Like, I'm not a, I'm not a coach. I'm not a fan. But y'all frustrate the living hell out of me, bro. Because I want y'all. Like, y'all, y'all got Joshua Rice. I did a video on him. Um, y'all know about, some of y'all should know about his uh, incredible story by now. I got Joshua Rice over there. I wanted y'all to succeed so bad this year. But, my God. Fire Plexico Burris. That's all I'm going to say. Fire Plexico Burris as your coach. Um, yes, I know he's not really your coach, but I mean, my God, you shoot yourselves in the foot so much, I would think he is. Ugh, like, wh why? Why? Like, it's so weird, bro, that y'all get this momentum and y'all come so close week after week, but y'all don't pull it out um, just because of you shooting yourselves in the foot. Like, I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm frustrated for you, Bethune. Please, man, get it together. Become disciplined. And, you know, hopefully, man, y'all can get a win before the season is over. I think you will. But, I, damn, I don't want to I don't want to see y'all lose every game this season. Um, so, please, just get that together. Prairie View a and their offense has been probably the most fun to watch, for me, uh, at least last week. I like watching that offense. I really do. I really do. Jawan Pass, I've always been a fan of. Even when he was at Louisville, um, you know, he was always touted to be the successor to Lamar Jackson. It didn't happen. We know how that's going now. They got Malik Wright, who is a very dynamic quarterback for Louisville. Um, you know, Jawan keeps on getting injured, not really playing the best. He's streaky at Louisville. He comes to Prairie View. He revives his career. Um, I will say this. Actually, it's a few things for Prairie View and Number one, if Jawan Pass can can calm his jittery ass down in that pocket, this is no diss to Jawan because I'm a huge fan of his. As I've said earlier, a uh, uh, big fan of him since he was at Louisville. I wanted him to succeed there. Um, if he can just calm down, right? Because he's he's a little he's a little jittery. Like I don't know if I'll be noticing that. Sometimes he's calm, other times he's not. If he, if he can calm down and just make better decisions as far as just overall. Like, if his touchdown to interception ratio can improve, if he can make better decisions with the football, Prairie View looks just as good as the team to beat in the swag. And we know who that is. Um, I'm just enamored by that offense as a whole. I mean, my God, bro. I don't know who number 87 is. Y'all let me know down in the comments below. Whoever number 87 is, I forget his name. He's a receiver or a tight end for Prairie View a &M. Dude got speed. That boy got some speed on him. All those receivers, man, athletic. They're fast. Um, Landamium, Landanian, Landamian Brooks. Bro, where y'all been, Prairie View, where y'all been keeping this man at, bro? Where y'all been, where y'all been keeping this man at? And Jaden, the other back. Y'all got a two-headed horse on running back. If one don't get going, the other one will. Lynn Damien is a great asset to have catching out of the backfield, as we seen last week versus Southern. He gets it going. I'm just looking at them like, bruh, when this offense is clicking, when Jawan Pass is on, ugh, I ain't, I'm not saying, I'm not making no predictions. All I'm saying is I cannot wait to see them versus Jackson State. Here is to hoping and praying that both these teams, teams finish the season strong and they meet up in the SWAC championship. I need to see this matchup. I do. I do. Now, you know, I wanted I wanted JSU to skip the SWAC championship and go on towards the playoffs. Don't roast me. That is just me. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm content with seeing this as well. I'm, I'll be happy to see them win a celebration bowl and a SWAC title as well. Uh... But, man, I just I got to see this matchup. You know, if they don't go to the playoffs, which they most likely will not or choose not to do, I, I damn sure will be happy with seeing them versus Prairie View and m I got to see it. I got to see it. I got to see those receivers versus Jackson State's DBs. I got to see that front seven versus LaDamian Brooks and Jaden. Um, I got to see if they're going to affect Jawan Pass, if they're even going to get 
I, they'll get to Jawan Pass. They've been doing so on a weekly basis. But if they can get to Jawan Pass consistently, I, I got to see it. I got to see it. Lord knows, I love Prairie View A&M's offense, bro. Never thought I'd be saying that, but I do. I love watching them. Um, Southern. Yo. McDaniels. I thought McDaniel was... I thought McDaniel was going to be that guy. I thought he was. Maybe he needs more time. You know, maybe he needs more time. Um, but I think his performance, what was that, a week or two ago? I think he only had, what, 58 yards passing, but that was because Kobe Dillon broke out and had that sensational game of 14 carries, 257 yards, if I'm not mistaken, and, what, three, four touchdowns. He was just going off, so they didn't have to do much passing wise. But Southern, I don't – I don't know. I don't. Y'all are a mystery, bro. Cause like, you have four offensive linemen that was preseason all swag. In my opinion, your offensive your offensive line is probably the best in the damn country, uh, as far as the swag goes, or maybe FCS. Why? Why is this y'all season? Why is this y'all season? You just hate to see it. You hate to see it. Um. Who else did I have to talk about? Who else was it? Alcorn. Yo. <laughs> uh, that's another offense. That's another offense that I I enjoy watching a lot, right? Let me say this. CJ Bolar. CJ Bolar is that guy. CJ Bolar is a beast. I'm not worried about them facing Jackson State, right? I'm not worried about anybody facing Jackson State. Um but it's going to make some interesting football. Oh, my God. It's going to make some interesting football. At the end of the day, all I want is interesting matchups, right? Which is why I want to see Prairie View a and versus JSU. Which is why I also want to see, can't wait to see Alcorn versus JSU. CJ Bolar, LaCharles Pringle. Um, let's, let's just say what we already know. LaCharles is now the second best receiver on that team. CJ Bolar is the best receiver. That's no diss to LaCharles. At all. But C.J. Bolar is that guy. Um, so you got those two. You got Nico Duffy in our running back. And, of course, Felix Harper playing like he does. He's, he's, he's playing very methodical, very safe these past few weeks. And, he, you know, he's people are quiet on him. People are quiet on Felix Harper. But he's not playing bad either. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, Alcorn, like I said, I just enjoy watching him. I enjoy it. Those are two offenses that I enjoy watching just as much as JSU. Probably a little bit more. Prairie View, Alcorn. I love CJ. I, I love watching CJ Bolar. And that's for uh, Prairie View AM. Their offense as a whole, especially watching that Southern game, I love to see them when they're on. Like when they're clicking, where they're not shooting themselves in the foot. My God, I love to see it. I genuinely love to see it. Um, so. Like I said, like like you know, like I said before the season even started, man, this was gonna this was gonna be an exciting year in the SWAC. Um, so far things are going as planned, but you know, a few surprises. Also, I got a hot take, right? I got a hot take. Again, y'all might hear this and be like, "Same no damn hot take, bro." We think this too. It's fine. That's my opinion. This is just my opinion. All right, my hot take. Andrew Body will put Texas Southern in contention for a SWAC title before he graduates. I don't know what year it's going to be. I'm not going to say it. I'm, I'm not guaranteeing they'll get to a SWAC championship. I damn sure ain't guaranteeing they'll win one. But I think that as good as he is, you continue to put talent around him. As competitive as they've been this year, if they can just, if they can just continue to take steps up, Right? Maybe you get a little lucky in the transfer portal. Who knows? Andrew Body will lead y'all, will put y'all in contention for a SWAT title. That is just my opinion before he graduates. That's my hot take. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm just leaving it there. Andrew Body, going, he going to do it. I believe in that boy. He going to do it. <laughs> Big fan of Andrew Body. Um, last but not least, Jeremiah Hickson, the receiver for Alabama State. Let's talk about him more. Let's 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 give this man his flowers before he leaves. The boys the boys a beast. The boys a beast. We you know uh, we only refer to the receivers at Alabama A and M and Jackson State. 
Jeremiah Hickson is in that conversation as one of the best receivers in the country. And I know we can look at it and say, well, yeah, you, you look at him statistically, it's fine. But we don't give him, we don't give him attention. We don't give Jeremiah Hickson attention. And we need to. I'm going to do so. Jeremiah Hickson is that guy. Not even going to get into it. I just wanted to say that. Somebody need to put his name out there. I'm going to do it. Jeremiah Hickson is that dude. He's that guy. He's that dog. Everything like that. Um, <clears throat> I think that's all I had to talk about. Fam, you. I would love to see y'all in the playoffs. I really do. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I was looking at it on the, uh, the group pages on Facebook. A lot of FAMU fans really want that to happen. Um, I would love to see y'all in the playoffs. With that being said, if Rashawn McKay continues to get in y'all way, y'all ain't going far. <laughs> y'all ain't going far. Um, which, you know, if you don't, that's fine. But at least be competitive doing so. Rashawn McKay. All Rashawn McKay has to do is... It's sort of like Jimmy G, Jimmy Garoppolo in the Super Bowl, right? Uh, the only thing they wanted Jimmy Garoppolo to do in that Super Bowl was to make the throws you had to make. Don't turn the ball over. Don't get in the offense way. Don't try to be Superman. We got the weapons around you. Just do what you're supposed to do. Do your job. He couldn't do that. Rashawn McKay, you... Rashawn, that, that game... Valley ain't no slouch, right? Valley ain't no slouch. But, bruh... Come on, man. Come on, man. You got to be better. You got to be better. Um, that's about it, though. That's about it. That's all I had to say. I know there's more swag schools out there. We'll talk about them next time, but I got a lot to do today. So, I wanted to give y'all these a uh, few videos and, you know, let y'all have this content. So, with that being said, man, you are watching the CFL Podcast. I go by the name of Kobe, and I'm out. Peace.